Okay, it took me more than well, half an hour to get the problem, the touchscreen problem to appear. So, uh, well, the stylus is still working, so uh, let's uh, start the pain. Now, as you can see, the touchscreen is not working at all at the moment. And I'm hoping to see... So let's just uh, play a video. In the meantime... Okay... Just make sure that the cursor is currently in the center. Now, the touch screen is not working. I'm hoping. Ah, I'm not sure if you could see that right now. Let me remove the uh, camera from the tripod. So, here in the upper right corner, there's the cursor. So the touchscreen currently thinks my finger is there, which is not the case because if I zoom out and I so I the touchscreen is ah here we can see it in action. So it the touchscreen for my finger was there, and not only that, as you can see, is now since it thinks I'm holding my finger there, it now actually thinks uh, yeah, I'm now pressing there and long pressing and so it's now creating uh, or triggering all these uh, right click events in Windows so yeah, so this is a problem in uh, this is a problem that some of these uh, Asus slates ha have, I will also put a link um, in the video description to a uh, thread where other users have had similar problems. So yeah, when this is happening, your uh, slate is basically um, useless because, well, yeah, as soon uh, as this problem occurs, you cannot do anything with your hand anymore. And it's also kind of annoying that sometimes these clicks are generated, especially if there was isn't a uh, window that's maximized and well if it if the click is just short of short, or short nature then it might accidentally close the window but um, so yeah the only workarounds are to disable the touch screen altogether but then yeah this is not really an option because sometimes you do want to use the touch screen but um, to work around to get it responsive again, at least you can use the stylus to navigate again because uh, as soon as the stylus is near the screen, uh, touch is temporarily disabled. Ah, as you can see, if the pen is too far away, the touch screen does work, and but yeah, it's, uh, it's still uh, thinking my finger is there. So, yeah, um, just to make sure. Uh, um, I just did a um, uh, what is it uh, a fresh install using the recovery disks just to make sure it's not a drive issue. But as you can so as you can see, it's not definitely a drive issue. It's a hardware issue. Um, let's see if the problem still occurs if we reboot some people uh, on the you know, some internet forums said that uh, reboots sometimes temporarily uh, help but um, yeah so now the only problem is uh, discovering what is causing this hardware the touchscreen hardware to fail because it's not uh, acting all the time and sometimes it might even take quite a while. Oh, as you can see right now, oh yeah, 
it's already doing the uh, clicking action in the top uh, right corner so yeah my touchscreen is not working what sometimes did help for me was to remove the tablet from its case um, as you can see it doesn't because uh, yeah it's still thinking my finger is there in the upper right corner so yeah um, this video at least shows uh, that in this case the touchscreen that's clicking by itself is a hardware failure and not a driver issue so there you go I'm just going to uh, shut this down and end this video